Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. So, it's late. I was literally in the middle of filming the Retro Retro React for tomorrow when I noticed she posted. So, I figured, fuck it, I'll just get this one filmed and edited real quick and sent out for you guys. And then I'll finish that one up afterwards. But I'm still pissed about it. This one's only 11 minutes long, which, like, okay, that's not horrible. But the title is, I lied to you, dot, 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 parentheses, not clickbait. So I have a feeling it is probably clickbait because it's probably something she has already talked about. I highly doubt this is going to be, you know, uh, exclusive tea. But who knows? Who knows, guys? I'm already pretty ambered out for the day, so I don't want to be a raging cunt this entire video. So let's just dive in and not waste too much time, shall we? Thank you so much to all of our subscribers that are coming in. We do appreciate you. Uh, and yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe. Become a channel member. Let's dive right in, guys. Oh, oh I'm right. filming. I thought I was taking a picture. Yeah. <laughs> what a cute little glimpse that we got into your home life. Okay, you guys, so I got back from a friend's house. I want to say like 30 minutes ago. Okay. Minutes ago. A friend's house? Girl, you literally were with your mom. And I'm pretty sure that's your grandma's house. Like, what? I ordered McDonald's. I actually. Oh, she's high as fuck or she's drunk. Dude, really? Okay. Good job, Amber. Let me guess the whole I lied to you part not going to be until the last minute. We drank tonight, which I haven't drank in like over a month. And you were with your mom, which you said you would never drink around her. So did that change? So um, took some shots of tequila. It was a really good night. I genuinely enjoyed myself, but I am home now. Girl, what friends do you have? Now, I didn't vlog like at all today. I actually didn't vlog really anything today. Um, earlier, I hung up. You haven't been vlogging at all for weeks. With my mom, did some shopping, went and visited my grandma again, who is recovering really well from surgery. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. And after all of that, went to my friend's house. Yeah, it was a really- Who is this friend? Really good day today and a really good night. I hope. They and what? Your mom drop you off? Oh, how sweet! You guys are having a great. Did you have to text her to come pick you back up too? As well, and I want to show you guys. You guys remember I did my diamond. Or she's just using the friend's house as an excuse for I drank around my mom. It's right here in my last vlog. Well, Girl, I don't fucking care. It looks stupid. Today I did them there. I think they're so cute. I just really wanted to try something different. Oh, and no one cares. By the way, my nails are growing out so much. Yeah, I mentioned that in the last video. So thanks for pointing that out now. And the matte green, it's just, it's not looking good. Um, I should have got them. Girl, it wasn't looking good the day you got them. Done today. I already have my color picked out. I'm actually super excited. I hope that they have the color. Fingers are crossed. What color do we think it's going to be, you guys? Y'all, last night. Ew. I took off all my nails. Girl. Oh, you fucked your beds. You just fucked your nails. Oh my god. They be looking rough, but... Girl, you just ripped off, like, the top layer of your nail. I'm actually about to go get them done today. It wouldn't surprise me if they're not going to put fucking fake ones on there. Thank god. Okay, so we have rarity. <laughs> Ew, what the fuck are those? There, but here... <gasps> what are those? On my nails... I got them done. I have. Can you give your cat some fucking love? Uh, bingo. Dauber on my hand. Sorry about that. I really wanted like a chrome silver. For what reason? Isn't that so pretty? So I was shocked at how they did it actually. 
they did two layers of just like black nail polish and then they had this like powder it was like this glittery oh girl please as if you haven't seen that shit on tiktok silver powder and they put it on a sponge and then just put it on my nails it was honestly super fascinating and i decided to do a different shape instead of like the uh square i decided to do a little bit of a stiletto shape they make your hands look fucking weird Okay, you guys, so I'm about to take my... She can literally only be fucking bothered to film for, like, a minute a day for you guys. <laughs> Hair down. I want to show... And she she thinks y'all better fucking appreciate it. Oh, look at how now the curtains open so you can see she placed some uh, products in there that she doesn't use. You guys, just how much... Yeah, you're going to tell me she uses that bar of soap as fucking if... Amber, there's no, like, scrunchie or anything. You're going to tell me you're reaching every area, but with just a bar of soap or some, like, liquid body wash on your hands? Absolutely not. Better it looks. She's got to hide the fucking brush on a stick. It feels, in my opinion, because of all the changes I've made towards it. But I want to show you a clip that I recently filmed that you guys saw in a vlog of when I took my hair down and how crazy it looked. Hello, hello for a little voiceover moment i'm not gonna lie to you when i watch this clip back i'm like damn i miss my super long hair girl it's still super long shut up but i know that if i take care of it now keep the split ends cut stop with the heat it's gonna grow back the heat really isn't affecting it too much i mean if anything get like a heat protectant spray for it it'll be okay but look at that okay, so now that you've seen that I literally wore my hair in this. Okay, girl. Well, you probably also like had your mom wash it for you in the sink. Same so. way. Besides, it is I don't know. It still looks kind of fucked. It's just a little higher up this time. But look, like look at how pretty. I know. It does look better, but nah. Literally calling my hair pretty. Yeah, I am, and it feels amazing. Like I. That is shorter I, um over the it's still really long obsessed i did this i did this i did that a lot of you oh my god dude any fucking time she's gonna fucking say it we're like that is such a blunt cut it's not even it didn't look even because my head was tilted just a little bit like this in the clip sure where i showed it to you guys but sure girl definitely even um, can you just get to the part that you're not clickbaiting us about even though you're going to wait till the very end so it is in fact clickbait because the entire video isn't about this one fucking thing you're going to mention for probably like 30 seconds tilted now and a lot of people are like oh my god that's such a blunt cut yes that is actually what i prefer um i love the look of it being super blunt like this but then when you put it in the back it kind of has like a shape to it that I really like. So I want to show you. Girl, as if you could fucking tell. <laughs> guys, like, what can you really tell me she can look over her shoulder? Looks like from the back. So you understand where I'm coming from. So can you see it? <laughs> I hope. It's literally the same exact effect. So I just love how it lays. But if you know me. Girl, stop fucking brushing your back with it. You'll never see me like that in person. My hair is always like this. In person. There's not too many in-person sightings, girl. You don't get out of the house. Really? This is here. And then this side is usually in the back, tucked back like that. Like, it's very rare that all my hair is even in the back. Okay, who fucking cares? Anyways, but yeah, I think I did a really good job on cutting it. I went from using Tresemme. Well, girl, you used fucking kitchen scissors, which are inevitably only going to make your split ends worse, so... And to now I'm using L'Oreal, which L'Oreal... I'm pretty sure they're also on the shit list, girl. <laughs> Thank you. You've changed my life. And I also have been using this Garnier Fructis Sleep... Also on the shit list. Girl, these are all fucking brands you should not be using. Shine Anti-Frizz Serum. I add a lot, and I love it. Okay, so no wonder your hair looks fucking more weighted down and whatnot. You're putting products in it. Oh my god. Okay, so this was all a lie, too. Usually, in the past, like, when I would go to sleep, I would just not really care about my hair, let it do its thing. But now, I, like, purposely put it in a nice sculpted bun. <laughs> 
nice sculpted bun. So that has helped a lot as well. I Minus bet. the hair cutting, which I feel like was a big hair transformation for me because I cut a lot. Like my hair was like down to here. Who cares, girl? Cut a lot. <laughs> You're still as wide as the doorways, and those are extra wide doors. That's crazy. I would say the next best thing that I did for my hair is the fact that I haven't used any heat on it at all. Okay, whatever. Maybe, it, like, if you keep up with daily washing. I'm very proud of my hair transformation, and I just feel like it's happening quicker than I thought it was gonna. Okay, you guys, so this whole thing with, like, my surgeon and the reaction channel doxing him... It's a little bit bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Because you lied, yeah. I genuinely thought people weren't really gonna care because I feel like that's usually- Oh, please, girl. You know what you were doing. You know what you were doing. You know what you are doing every time you come on here. Don't act fucking stupid. What happens, like I share something that is like really big to me and a lot of people make it really small. But a lot of you have been like, wow, that was wrong. I've also received- Girl, please. Received a lot of people asking me um, a few questions about the situation. So I figured I would answer them for you guys. So the first one being- Yeah, like what? Is why did you lie about your surgeon? Because a lot of people went back and they were like, wait, I thought your surgeon was in a different state. Wait, I thought your surgeon was a female. I'm oh, so she's addressing Zachary Michael. Okay. Confused. So yeah, I did lie. I did lie about- who my surgeon was, I lied about. And then you got pissy as Zachary Michael for calling you out on your lie. Where they were, and it's because I wanted to steer Dark Alert, I wanted to steer Kicking Geese, which are the two reaction channels who did dox him. But it was first Narc Alert, and then Kicking Geese decided to... They were not even involved at that point, dog. Like, what the fuck? Do that as well, and in several live streams she would pull up you know his seminar pull up his name and say that this is amberlynn's surgeon who cares dude who cares that's not doxing someone like it wasn't just one live stream where they did this it was multiple and multiple i wanted to Please go cry about it. Steer people away from my personal medical information. That's not personal medical information. And life, because I don't think that's anyone's business, honestly. So I was trying to. So wait, it's no one's business, but you're going to come on here and earn all of your money to sustain yourself and your addiction by giving away that business then shut the fuck up what is this all about huh oh well she just she wanted to steer people away this is her private life girl you were fully fucking monetizing it you were just lying from the get-go protect myself oh, I protect myself i stated multiple times that my surgeon was female and that it was in a different state than where I was actually living. I only ever did that because I was scared since I knew that he was doxxed. So I wanted to do everything. It's not doxing. They didn't give out his address or his phone number or anything like that. In my power for people to not believe that Dr. Smith was my surgeon because I did not. And as if they would fucking care about you, dog. Truly, truly. Do you think a surgeon that is on tv with some of like the most controversial shows out there do you think that he really is going to fucking care what a few haters have to say what you're making him sound like a fucking bitch and like a not good medical uh professional the surgery ruined for me because at the time it was everything like oh yeah yeah totally it would totally be ruined for you amber i wanted the surgery more than i ever wanted anything lies bullshit <laughs> and i went through a lot in that era like constant tests and it was stressful it was a lot of money but at that time that is yeah you wasted all that money and didn't fucking go through with it and you're going to say it's because of some reaction channels okay what i wanted and what i needed and i didn't want anyone to ruin that for me because i could tell that that's what was happening and it's not what was happening girl the only reason that people were suspicious and felt the need to go seek out information for themselves is because you were dishonest from the get-go that goes into the that's what you're leaving out next question of 
why didn't you tell us about narc alert doxing your surgeon way sooner than this like no why didn't you just tell us like straight up you were the one giving out so much specific information other than a name it doesn't take like a fucking rocket scientist to figure it out girl you were talking about dr smith and who cares why didn't you tell us while it was happening because if i did that that would have confirmed who my surgeon was who cares and I didn't want anyone. No one fucking cared. I guarantee you, Amberlynn, the only, it's like the Streisand effect. The only reason people didn't or people went out of their way to find that information is because you were being dishonest and you got caught in that lie. That's the only reason. And that's the only reason why you're pissed that they did go and find it. Like, you don't, uh, if you were just honest from the beginning, none of this would have happened to know and I'm i can guarantee you that none of this would have happened maybe their office would have gotten a few calls but like what medical professional would take any of that seriously like be so for real i, don't like I hope he slaps you with some type of like uh legal restriction or something you're definitely burning your bridge with them like some of the best people in the country that you could go to to save your life, you're burning that bridge. So good fucking job, Amberlynn. Dude, this is and he has direct ties with TLC too, okay? If they say like, oh, well, we're thinking of doing this other show with this girl, Amberlynn Reed, he'll be like, ah, no, we already uh, put her through a program and she automatically failed. I don't see this being successful for her. You're fucking it up for yourself, dog. So congratulations. The first time I have had issues with the narc alert and I didn't even say anything about it. Like I uh, this is definitely not the first time that you have had issues. OK, you've been very uh, vocal about how much you don't like them and of how fucking rude you are to them as well. Like ag agree to disagree. I don't care. Um, but. No one deserves to be told, uh, I don't fucking care you had a heart attack. Fuck off. Another really good example of that is like a lot of people think that I go on Reddit and like I get my subreddits taken down. I have never in my- Well, why are we addressing this now then, huh? My life done that, I'm telling you. Like hand to the universe, hand to everything that I love. Which isn't much. I have never done that. I Don't believe it. Although, no- you know what? She herself has probably never done it. I guarantee you she gets whatever uh, feeder that she has attached to her tit for that year. I guarantee you that she has them go and do it. I'm not a Reddit girly pop. And I truly don't care if people are on other websites talking about me. On Bullshit. Damon White. <laughs> forums and things like that. Like, I don't care about that. Like, deep down, I don't. But the narc alert actually, sure. actually got one of my subreddits taken down. She ended up bragging about it on her Discord, saying, like, I'm the one who got it taken down. And she was saying how... I mean, honestly, I have no idea. But also, like, girl, how are you privy to what is going on in narc alerts discord dude like what the fuck oh everyone thinks it's amber lynn but little do they know it was actually me and i never said anything about it because i <laughs> can't wait for more fucking responses from merc on this one i personally don't want to put my energy into this woman i don't like her her whole channel is very reflected around the fact that she thinks i'm a narcissist well well, you and other people. She is continuously showing narcissistic tendencies, like, and she can't even admit to them. Well, <laughs> I cannot wait for Merck to respond. I'm over here where it's like, yeah, I do have my narcissistic tendencies. I am able to pinpoint them for you if you wanted me to. But no, girl, you can't. <laughs> you can't. OK. And the issue is, is when push comes to shove, you're abusive mentally and physically. That's the issue. For you to like dox my surgeon, it's not doxing, and like act like it's totally fine, take down a whole ass subreddit, brag about it, and say ha ha ha, everyone thinks it's Amber Lynn, but little do they know it was actually me. I have no proof for that, so I no clue. It's probably not true. So, girl, did you just come on here to say, yeah, I lied to you, but look at this foul fucking cunt? Like, shut up, okay? Shut up. On the grand scale of things, I highly doubt 
uh, narc alert has done as much damage to people's lives as you have. Well, I'm getting constantly, constantly harassed. Oh my God, I can't believe you would take down the subreddit. Like, how lame are you? Like, well, well. Why the fuck do you care then? If you know what the truth is, why the hell do you care? Okay? Because those people that are coming at you and bitching about the subreddit are not people that were ever going to be on your side, dude. So why do you care what they fucking think? Like, I just... I it makes no sense to me. And that's why this is all just a farce. Like, she is in those subreddits. She does care. Ugh. I can't with this woman personally. Well, we can't with you, girl, okay? Like, Christ, you are half her age, and yet we're literally having to coddle you like a fucking child. Well, everyone thought it was me taking down the subreddit. Okay, who cares? It was actually this reaction channel. I honestly don't know why she got the subreddit taken down. Why don't you call her this woman again? Because that sounds very uh, borderline derogatory how you're saying it. But... Knowing her is probably because they said something. Knowing her, you don't know her. Something about her. But regardless of the reason, it would have been very nice for her to like maybe make a video and say, y'all, it wasn't Amber Lynn, it was actually me. But of course- Girl, can you chill the fuck out? She's not gonna do that. And of course she's not gonna admit- uh I cannot wait for Merck to respond to this. I truly can't. I think maybe there is some validity in what Amber Lynn is saying, but I don't have any of the specific details, you guys. So I don't want to speak on it. Uh, the wrongdoing of doxing a surgeon. And it wasn't doxing. Oh my God. She wants to blame her audience and she wants to blame kicking geese and everyone else around her. She even wants to blame me because I was sharing my journey to get weight loss surgery on YouTube. And I purposely was being very, very aware of the fact that like people could figure it out who it is. If you were, then you wouldn't have posted those images, dipshit. So I'm gonna make sure to say things that would steer them in a different direction. Oh, she really needs the money. She really does. And I know that is me lying. Cause now we're just getting different clips throughout the weeks that she filmed weeks ago. And then she's compiling it all with a little sit down version from the actual day that uh, she's posting this on. But I was doing it to protect my medical. Oh my God, shut the fuck up. Personal life. For those of you that I have heard. Then don't fucking come on here trying to make a fucking buck off of it. Okay, then don't. So if you want to be protective and whatnot, don't come on here and try to make a fucking pretty penny from it. Okay, girl? Like, shut up. What are you fucking complaining about? By lying about this, I am very sorry. Because no, you're not. You don't fucking care. Because that is never my intention to hurt anybody. But I had to choose myself in that situation. Oh, shocker. Amberlynn chose herself. Man. And the reason why I'm talking about it now is because I finally feel comfortable. Like, I no longer see Dr. Smith. I don't live in Kentucky anymore. Yeah, and you're going to burn every fucking medical bridge that he could have possibly given you. Just at the time, I'm not going to sit there. Because he probably could have uh, persuaded you more so towards a uh, correct, like, program or something in the state that you're now living in. I'm sure he has connections there. You fu fucked it up, dude. He's not going to want to help you at all talk about it i mean no i bet he probably will still try to help her because he is a good guy but ugh. and that's the confirmation of yeah dr smith is my surgeon i couldn't do that i wasn't gonna do that who fucking cares dude who cares do you think you are that big of a fucking celebrity okay tammy slayton's got way more followers and way more haters than you do dog and you know it didn't affect her at all so like chill the fuck out i was very very upset about it for a very long time and yeah i am actually still upset about it because it's yeah clearly dude clearly you're still fucking bothered sucks that, that happened but i finally am feeling like better about the situation where Betty? It's like i'm gonna move on like it is what it is it ha can you move on can you will this be the last fucking video i hear you talking about this bullshit now i'm ready probably not to move on but i did want to share the story with you guys because i told you that i would i do want to thank everyone for the support during oh shut up everyone giving the ass kisses time and for people like who even really dislike me they're like i might dislike amberlynn but this is not right like, I appreciate... Who the hell said that? You know, all of us standing together in that regard. <laughs> Please. 
So you're trying to send a hate mob towards Narc Alert when she has openly stated before that she never wants to send hate or anything your way. Nice going, Amberlynn. Pretty sure that's against terms of service. I know no one's probably going to listen to me, but just don't harass Narc Alert. Don't harass Kicking Geese. There's no reason to harass people because that is like what was what I was going through and it doesn't feel good. So I definitely don't want anyone. Oh, you're such a bigger person. I mean, you are, but. <laughs> else to experience that because. Girl, bye. It's just, it's not a fun feeling. It happened. It sucked. Thank you for watching. All right. Well, with that, guys. What a fucking mess. This girl is such a tragic, tragic train wreck. And we're here for every step of the way. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Today was a busy day. A lot of videos. I did not plan for this to happen. <laughs> I did the first one, and then I was like, eh, I might as well like touch up on this foodie thing because it happened like right after. And then, bam, here we are. But yeah, <laughs> tomorrow will probably be a more lax day, maybe. We'll see. But thank you so much for watching, you guys. As always, I truly do appreciate it. Oh, wait. Fuck no. We're not done yet. Stop. Scratch that. Ugh, oh, I'm an idiot. We're going to check the comments. Hello. It's ready. Yes, we know you have lied to us about so many things. 456, you're welcome. I don't know. Just skip to 457, y'all. <laughs> I paused to love is blind for this. Don't worry. We knew. If you're talking, you're lying. You've lied so many times, we're used to it, girl. So where was the fucking support she was getting? Wasn't your surgeon Tammy surgeon as well on a popular TLC, tel, bleh, TLC show? Don't you think maybe his clinic has gotten several troll messages due to the popularity of that show? Obviously, they would disregard any strange calls slash emails. I don't think anyone is shocked that you lied. I think she's still lying. I don't think that's the reason why. There's nothing better between L'Oreal and Tresemme. Exactly, dude. Like, she didn't even do her research properly. Liar Lynn is back. Not surprised she lied yet again. She lied about who her surgeon was because she was afraid they'd get doxxed. But, like, dude, he's a famous fucking surgeon. How are you going to dox someone that's literally on billboards? Like, shut the fuck up. A satin bonnet for sleeping would help your hair so much. I'm surprised she didn't pick that up from wifey. Who cares? What does it matter? I think you overestimate your importance. The surgeon is a grown-ass man. A famous grown-ass man. Amberlynn lied. Tell us something we don't know. My favorite part about your constant lying is watching you dig the hole deeper. You got working with that shovel in this one. Exactly. Here we go again. What's a sculpted bun? <laughs> she was just able to hold her arms up for 10 seconds. Why would anyone care who your surgeon was? They still can't access any of your information just knowing his name and where he is. You really must think you're someone important. <laughs> exactly, dude. Exactly. She thinks she is like the queen of fucking England. <laughs> Man, the wallet must be pretty slim this month. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. After taxes? Oh, yeah. She got railed, I bet. Amber La Reed strikes again. Oh, Lordy. See, we weren't just being haters telling you to cut your hair. We been new. The narcolurk and her flock of idiots were so tacky for doing all that. Doing all what? Hello, it's ready. Okay, shut the fuck up. Can't believe I'm agreeing with you on something. Like, what? That's almond, not stiletto nails. I knew it was not that. You ain't hurting no one but yourself. Exactly. Girl, we been new. We knew, girl. The end of your hair looks the same, just not as scraggly because you finally cut the dry ends off. Yeah, but it's going to keep going up. Girl, you make enough money not to use L'Oreal, right? She's using this drugstore shit, which like no shade, but like some shade. L'Oreal is really bad, you guys. You can find affordable brands that don't do that to your hair. She was with her mom, getting drunk with her mom. Yeah. All right, Amber. Anyways, 
I don't really care to continue on too much further. We already did a quick little outro. So thank you so much, guys, once again. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe. Become a channel member. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.